Yes, folks, the Nintendo Switch is on pace to be one of, if not possibly the best, although likely probably second best selling home console of all time. But I mean, even if you include handheld platforms, it's up there to be in the top three. Now, before we get into that, I got to remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch or a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X or S. Uh, it's up to the winner to choose. Uh, if you want to find out how to enter that, go down into the description. We're also giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Again, to enter, head down to the description and find out. Also, we're on our road to 100,000 subscribers. So, you know, drop a like on this video, uh, you know, all that jazz comment below uh subscribe to the channel let's try to hit a hundred thousand in 2020 so we can do a special thousand plus dollar giveaway in january all right this is really really interesting to look at so we've known for quite a while what the latest official hardware numbers are for nintendo switch at 61.44 million which is just a hair shy of the nintendo entertainment system which just happens to be nintendo's second best selling home console of all time behind the nintendo wii now the wii is kind of an aberration it sold 101.63 million units but we're not really going to talk about the wii much in this uh conversation because honestly the switch is so far ahead of the wii's pace that it's not even worth comparing ah that's right the switch is way ahead of the wii's overall pace don't believe me well let's look at the switch compared to the playstation 4 now the playstation 4 is looks like it's going to be ending its lifespan around 109 110 million units sold uh, but let's look at the first three years aligned here uh, between playstation 4 and switch now this is launch aligned so not you know the last three years for playstation 4 but from playstation 4's launch three years in to switch's launch and then three years in and you'll see that switch was basically been ahead of the playstation um the entire way so in the first year and three months or so playstation was ahead at 15 months at 20.2 million compared to 19.67 million this is important to note because of differences in when they released playstation 4 was a holiday release switch released in march so there's going to be some uh huge sales bump differences that are going to um happen during holiday periods between the different platforms uh and we didn't get updates on playstation numbers all the time but two years in uh, PlayStation was at 30.2 million, whereas Switch was at 34.74 million, right? Well, 33 months in, uh, we don't know what PlayStation was at, but we know that Switch was at 52.48. When we hit uh, 33 years in, PS4 was at 50 million, and if you look at that Switch number, it was already ahead of that. And we already know Switch was at 61, and likely still ahead of that PlayStation 4 pace. So what's interesting is, we are in the midst of the best sales year for Switch ever uh, in 2020. It is selling more units worldwide than it's ever sold before in the midst of a pandemic and not really even having a ton of big games to come out besides Animal Crossing. And yet here we are today. Uh, the Switch is doing incredibly well. Its pace is going to surpass PlayStation 4 if the numbers hold up, which you might wonder, can the numbers hold up? Well, there's a lot of factors you have to consider. Obviously, we have the PlayStation 5 coming out. We have the uh, Xbox Series X coming out and the S. Those are going to impact sales at least least in some fashion at least that's the prevailing thought out there where people are worried about switch personally neither of those platforms can go portable so i don't know what nintendo has to worry about beyond getting some third-party support which they haven't really had a ton of triple a third-party support here in 2020 but again there's been a pandemic like even doom eternal is not out yet and that was supposed to be a game this year so there's a lot of uh, scenarios out there we, we are getting some triple a support next year we did get nba 2k 21 this year don't know why we wouldn't get nba 2k 2022 next year uh we keep getting fifa legacy edition should we even count that as as, as a triple a game at this point i mean it's kind of an embarrassment of a game uh kudos to ign for calling them out on that but honestly i think that uh switch is going to be okay because nintendo said switch is going to be a family of systems and next year supposedly there is an upgraded switch coming out not likely a next generation switch but more more in line with like a playstation 4 pro a new nintendo 3ds somewhere in there where it's going to be an upgraded platform but still part of the same family so the family will be switch Lite, switch and then the switch new nintendo switch or whatever they call it switch pro uh and that might be like the capper for them that they ride for the next few years and there's nothing wrong with that nintendo has shown a uh, propensity to do this if you think oh man they're going to make a standalone system that goes under your tv well i mean we have furikawa saying they're working on cutting edge technology that gets five to six hours of battery life it doesn't really sound like they're looking at a standalone box to go under your tv uh, uh, plus, that takes away a huge appeal of the Switch, which is the fact that you can play it on the go. 
So you have the Switch Lite, you, you're going to have the regular Switch, and then you'll have the upgraded Switch, much like, you know, you have the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Slim on the next Switch, you have, or the next uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. On Xbox, you have the Xbox uh, One, you have the Xbox One S, and that, the Xbox One X, and now at launch, you're going to have the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. Um, and with, with Nintendo, you know, they've done this before, with the 2DS, the 3DS, the new Nintendo 3DS, the new 2DS, like the XLs, you know, we, we've had a lot of different uh, versions of of these systems, and I know that Switch is being advertised as a home console by Nintendo, but we all know it's made with mobile technology, and definitely made with mobile in mind first, home console and docking in mind second. Hence why we have a platform in the family already in the light that is cheaper, but mobile only. Clearly, this was uh, intended to be looked at as a system that's mobile first, home console second, but they wanted to emphasize the home console aspect of it for obvious reasons, right? They wanted to show you the Switch is different than your 3DS. It's different than your DS or your PSP or your Vita. You're going to be taking the same games that you would play on home consoles and be able to take them on the go. That was a massive selling point. And while Sony tried doing that with the Vita and the PSP to various varying degrees of success, those games were made for that platform. Sony, you know, as an example, would have, you know, say an Uncharted game on PlayStation 3, but it have a completely different type of Uncharted game on the Vita. Whereas on Switch, it's Breath of the Wild on Switch and Wii U, mind you. Uh, and it's the same game on the go or at home. It, there's not like a separate version of the game made specifically for the on the go platform. So it fulfilled a promise that Sony was trying to make, but never really quite got there with theirs attempts at this whole home console on the go concept besides the fact that obviously the veto wasn't natively meant to be played on tv it could have been there were converters and cables and eventually the playstation tv but the grander point in all of this is that uh obviously nintendo hit a home run with this concept and i don't think it's going to go anywhere with that upgraded one coming next year is it going to be 4k and have dlss 2.0 i have no idea that's what some rumors say but what i think Nintendo has done here is create a platform that's going to end up being their best-selling platform ever. I mean, besides the DS. I don't know if they'll ever get the DS numbers. Could it do DS numbers? Maybe. For all I know, for all I know, this upgraded Switch next year is going to have support for 4K through DLSS, but it'll be fully backwards compatible because they do a lot of work on that end. And all of a sudden, this system lasts for another four or five years. And at that point, you can start looking at could this get the DS numbers? Like 110 million getting passed by PlayStation 4. That's already impressive. But can it get to 150? Can it pass the PlayStation 2? Those are the kind of questions you got to ask yourself if Nintendo keeps this iterative thing going and they decide to keep everything cross-generational for a long time or cross-platform for a long time. So we'll have to see what Nintendo's overarching plans are. And those are going to unfold. You know, we should have an idea of what some of the plans are next year. And then, you know, we'll see how it unfolds in the, in the years after that. And how the Switch can stack up with its sales in comparison to PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X slash S. We do need to see how it can stack up. Again, I think it stacks up quite favorably because those platforms are not the kind of platform platforms you take with you so they don't really replace the switch right like there's nothing there's nothing coming out this holiday that replaces a nintendo switch even if you're someone that plays it primarily in docked mode chances are you didn't buy it to play primarily in docked mode because of the AAA games coming to it because in that case you probably have a gaming pc you probably have a playstation 4 or an xbox one like in that case you didn't buy the switch to play those kind of games you bought it to play the exclusive games on it and if that's the case well the exclusive games are going to keep coming it's not like exclusive games are going to go away right so i don't know that's just me that's just my thought you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below do you agree with me this is not a console or agenda based thing this is just looking at the raw data and looking at nintendo's likely future plans and i think the switch is on pace to to do some amazing amazing stuff from a sales perspective all right folks i am nintendo robo gents from nintendo prime thank you so much for tuning into this video and i'll catch you in the next one